Sasha Banks news. This has become one of the most interesting stories of the year. Uh, I mean, there were so many, right? I, in, in any other universe, Sasha Banks walking out of WWE would have been the big story. Fortunately, or fortunately, it's not. Uh, but the news is coming out that she is scheduled to appear at Wrestle Kingdom. Dave went into detail on this with Brian on Wrestling Observer Radio. I, I recommend you guys check it out. She said she agreed to terms for... Mul it, it's all verbal, right? There's no contract here. It's all verbal agreements, handshake agreements. She agreed to terms for multiple dates with New Japan, but re-signing with WWE is still possible. Right now, she's not signed, but it is possible. Apparently, and this is... Uh, Dave brought this up today. Her asking price to go back to WWE was very high. Uh, and he he was able to kind of go into detail on this and say that it wasn't high as far as the men's division goes, but it was very high comparative to the women's division in WWE. I mean, listen, she's a big star. She was in Mandalorian. She has some crossover branding. She has a uh, crossover mainstream non-wrestling, you know, attention, which is always a positive. But... I, I I find that a little interesting. I, I'm sure she wants, you know, Ronda Rousey level money or Charlotte level. I don't I don't know Charlotte's contract or Becky's contract. I'm sure she wants a lot more, but there's still a lot of uh a lot of people that are disappointed that she just walked out on them. So maybe that's playing a part. But she's not scheduled to wrestle, according to Dave, just to set up a match. So MG, and you 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 help me out here a little bit, right? There you go. Our producer, uh, Matt. I don't know if you guys could hear Matt. Uh, John, I don't know if they could hear him or not, or our other producer here, but if they can't, uh, if we could try to get... Okay, thank you. There we go. So he's good. So here's my question, right? He's not good, mm -hmm. apparently. All right, maybe yeah. you guys could hear. Maybe you guys can't. I was a little confused because the Wrestle Kingdom setup sounded like a match at Wrestle Kingdom, no? Um. Yeah, well... I don't know for sure, but I do know that they said uh, they have her coming in. And why would you have her come in all the way over there just to set up a match for later when that's a big name? Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, listen, it's Wrestle Kingdom. It's like a WrestleMania appearance, especially if you're a fan of, you know, New Japan Pro Wrestling like we are. So right. it, it is a big deal to be there. Um, I would have liked to it's see first... something happen. Yeah, it's the there. first women's match in in New Japan. Singles, in New Japan, yeah. Oh, so I guess I guess so. at the end she could come out and crown, you know, give the title to the winner, and you could do that. But this is becoming an interesting story here because at the same time as this is happening, the New Japan story and with Sasha's happening, Paige on Wednesday or Soraya, sorry, I got to get used to that man. <laughs> it, it's I can't get used to it, right? I keep calling her Paige, Soraya. Uh, mentioned that she will have a mystery tag partner for the January 11th show, Dynamite. That's coming up in a month from now. That's when everybody started speculating. Well, it has to be Sasha. It has to be Mercedes. I mean, it could be a lot of other people. It, I mean, the possibilities, it, a lot of people were thinking it was Nia Jax early on when she said that. I mean, some of the other names. I don't know if it's Nia or not. Some people were speculating AJ Lee, which I don't see happening considering how her husband exited the company. Uh, you have some options here, and I'm sure they're going to come up with something creative. But if it was Sasha, if it, if it is Mercedes, what does that do to the AEW women's division? I think it it, it, it gratefully improves it. It could be Trinity. It could be Thunder Rosa. It could be Tony Storm. The list that goes on and on in the chat. I, I think you know. I don't think it's going to be Tony. I'll tell you. I, I'll tell you that. I don't think they would tease something for a month if it's Tony. I, I mean, it could be Thunder Rosa for sure. It could be Trinity. Uh, that could be an option too. Timmy in our chat room says he's the mystery par uh, partner. So <laughs> it could be anybody here. But I do find it interesting that we're talking about this now, and this became a huge story here. Um, we'll find out, right? 